the DA has again been dealt a blow. The party is seemingly on the ropes, steadily losing many of its heavyweights. The latest being former Shadow Minister of Communications, Pumzile Fandam. In a statement, Fandam says she is left because of a clique of individuals. The party has been stoic in its response. The DA has received and accepted the resignation of Pumzile Fandam as a member of parliament. We commend her work over the past several years from taking on Bel Pottinger, fighting for an independent SABC. Recently, DA Western Cape Chairperson Bonkos Matiizela resigned from his position over qualifications row, claiming he was pushed out of the party. His and Van Damme's resignations follow a long line of high-profile black leaders that have left the party, including former party leader Musi Maimani, Herman Mashaba and John Moody. Their departure was motivated by the return of former leader Helen Zilla as Federal Council Chairperson. One expert says the DA is simply confirming what people have long suspected. The most damaging political controversies are those that seem to confirm a critique about an, a candidate or a party. And in this case, the critique is that, you know, the DA is fundamentally supportive of white interests and black leaders are only welcome insofar as they toe the line, are malleable, and of course could be perceived as puppets of their ultimate white masters. That is the critique that the ANC and other black citizens and analysts are very happy to level at the DA, which seems to be confirmed again and again as these black leaders leave the party, these outspoken black leaders. And the internal reactions in the party appear to be taking their toll in the party's support. The 2019 election saw a drop in the party's support from 22.23% to 20.77% in 2019. DA has decided it's fine, will be a small white party. Uh, John Steen has actually let their strategy slip a couple months back. They hope that the ANC will split and that the centrist kind of reformist wing of the ANC will be about 30% of the electorate, 35, 30, maybe 40%, and be unable to form a government without the DA, and the DA will be able to join government as a minority coalition partner. And in the recent by-elections, the party has continued to lose wards. At Wednesday's polls, the party managed to retain six wards but lose four. We want to bring change to South Africa's racialized and polarized society by recommitting ourselves to Nelson Mandela's dream of a non-racial state. This weekend, the party will hold a virtual rally around the theme of Time for Change to drum up support ahead of the local government elections. Whether the party's vision will resonate with ordinary South Africans will be revealed at the October polls. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.